Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Moon. Today we have an interesting algebra problem. Which one is bigger? 777 to the 888 power or 888 to the power 777. How can we compare this? How can we solve it? Take a look. These powers, this right here on the left and on the right, we can divide by 111. So this and this as well. So let's take 111th root from both of the side. Take a look, what we'll have right here taken 111th root on the left from this number 777 to the power 888 taking 111th root and right here on the right let's do the same let's take this 111th root on the right 888 to the power 777 take a look we can write this this expression in another way so we can write this one as 777 to the power 888 divided by 111. So this will be the same, but in other way to write. And this one is the same. 888, the same logic, 777 divided by 111. Just this is the same steps, but we write in another way. So take a look. We can divide this. We will have 8, so we will have 777 to the power 8 on the left. And on the right we will have 888 to the power 7. Take a look, what we're we going to do next. Of course, it is a little bit simpler thing at the right here. So let's compare, let's let's continue comparing this 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 left and right number. So what we're we going to do next? Take a look. We can write this 777 as 7 times 111. And right here 8 times 111. So let's do this. Let's write this 777 as 111 times 7, of course, to the power 8. And right here, the same. We'll have 111, but, re but multiplied by 8 and to the power 7. So just express these, these elements as 111 times these numbers. So what we're going to do next? We all know the rule. If we have a product raised to the power, we need to raise all of this element to this power. So we need to raise these and this and right here this and this. So raising all of these elements to this power. What we'll have? 111 to the 8th power times 7 to the 8th power. And on the right 111 to the 7th power times 8 to the 7th power. So take a look what we'll have. We have 111 times 111 8 times and right here 111 times 111 7 times so of course we can cancel we can divide all of these parts by 111 to the 7 times right here we have 8 times and right here 7 times so we can cancel this these parts what we'll have we will have right here only our one time 111 times 7 to the 8th power and right here we cancel this. So right here we cancel and we have 7 and right here we cancel these elements. So as a result we will have 8 to the 7th power on the right. So 111 times 7 to the 8th power on the left and on the right we have 8 to the 7th power. Okay, what are we going to do next? It's a little bit complicated to compare this, this part because right here we have 111, we don't we cannot like factor this number or 7 as well but take a look this 8 can be written as 2 cube so let's do this let's simplify this we can read, write it as 2 cube raised to the seventh power and if we simplify this we will have that our right side is equal to 2 to the power 21 so let's let's work with this one let's work with 2 we have that our right part is 2 to the 21 power <laughs> okay what are we going to do with our left side I want to suggest you a real good trick how to solve it because this is a huge number and we cannot like calculating compare this with the right side but take a look I write this 111 times 7 to the 8th power I want to suggest you a really good method how to solve it take a look this one is greater than 2 to the 6th power equal to 64 so this one of course is greater than 2 to the 6th power times 7 to the 8th power so this element is the same, but this one is equal to 64 and of course 111 greater than 64. But we have our 2. So let's go next. 
what we're going to do next. Of course, this one is greater than 2 to the 6th power times 6 to the 8th power, not 7, but 6 minus 1. And of course, this will be greater. Right here, a huge, huge number, right here, 6. But take a look what we will have. We have 2 to the 6th power times 6 to the 8th power. If we write this 6 as 2 times 3, so what we'll have? We write this 2 to the 6th power, and this 6 we can write as 2 times 3. Times 2 times 3 to the 8th power. And as, as you can see right here, we need to raise all of these elements. So we need to raise this 2 to the 8th power and this 3 to the 8th power as well. So let's do this. What we'll have? We'll have 2 to the 6th power as right here. Right here we're multiplying by 2 to the 8th power and multiplying by 3 to the 8th power. I don't want to I cannot write this inequality sign because this is the same, just simplifying steps. Okay, right here we can add these powers. We will have 2 to the power 6 plus 8. We will have 2 to the power 14 times 3 to the power 8. <laughs> yeah? What are we going to do next? Take a look. This one is greater than 2 to the power 14, but not times 3 to the power 8, but times 2 to the power 8. And take a look, this is a really good case. We will have this one is greater, this one is equal to 2 to the power 22. So, this number in the beginning is greater than 2 to the power 22. So we can write our final inequality. That our 111 times 7 to the 8th power, which is our left number after simplifying steps, is greater than 2 to the power 22, is greater than 2 to the power 22, which is greater as 2 to the power 21. As 2 to the power 21. So our left, our right side. So this is our right number. This is our left number. And this one is greater than 2 to the power 22, which is greater than our right number, 2 to the power 21. And as you, as you can see from here, this is our right number, this is our left number, and we need to write these steps to compare this one with this one. So our left number will be greater than our right number. So we can write, after all of these steps, we can write this, that this one is greater than right number. So 7 to the 888 power equal to greater than 888 to the power 777. This will be our answer. A little bit complicated, but I want you to understand this, this step from here, because I need to write that these steps just to compare with this number because this is not good number to compare with this 2 to the 21. How can we compare this? Only using this, this step by step simplifying, simplifying method and as a result we'll have an interesting equation right here that this is our left number, this is our right number, but this on the left is greater than this number that we step by step we get right here. I hope you Understand this. If you don't, write a, write a question in the comment. It will be really interesting to read it. It will be really interesting to answering to your comments if you still have any question. I think you will have any question with this one, with this step, because this step is a little bit complicated as well, because we cannot compare this and this on the, on the left with this on the right. This is not good number 111, so we cannot like express this 111, like no, as a two product, so we cannot do this. This seven is not good number as well, because we cannot like express this seven, for example, right here we have eight, we can express this as two cube. Right here we have seven, so we cannot like, like simplifying this, cannot express this. And moreover, we have a product, so we need to, to use this, this method have to simplify this. I hope you understand. If you don't, write your question in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting thumbs up. I really appreciate it and see you 
in the next video. Have a great day.